Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Home Living Style and I bring to you and home design ideas. Today I bring to you work in clothes design ideas. Please watch the video till end and if you like this video not forget also subscribe my YouTube and press bell notification so that when you get the notification. Walk in closets rule the world of storage solutions, although much more common currently, they still remain highly desirable and luxurious. But just like almost every other major element that goes into designing a home, walk in closets really heavily on the accuracy of their design. If designed properly, walk in closets are truly the bale of the ball. We would not go into why you should design those. The abundant storage is reason enough to go for a well designed walking. Not to mention the private space it affords the use. Instead, how you can design one that is perfect for your master bedroom, any other bedroom for your own home. What do you need to know before you start? You have been warned. Design designing is not an easy job. You will need time to plan the layout and its interiors but if you follow some standard rules then you should enough to start your own project a walk-in closer design will mainly depend on three factors your budget your space at your disposal your storage requirements these are very important and consider the base for a well-designed walk-in closet before stepping into any project you should know exactly what you need and want for that will determine the final product you end up with. For example, for low or minimum storage requirement, a walk-in can be an overkill. Similarly, if you don't have the space, then cramping a walk-in closet in your bedroom or with a separate room several distort the layout of your house. Before you have enough begin or even begin, ask yourself the purpose of your walk-in closet and work from there. That will determine the layout, which in turn will determine the design. There are dif different type of walk-in closets layout that can be adopted according to personal requirement and decorating style. First of all, let us talk about some common designs and layouts in the walk-in world. Depending on individual's needs, walk-ins can come in various designs. Some of them, however, are common than others. Single-sided walk-in closets. An extension of reaching, this is the smallest and all of it is a pretty common design. The storage is placed on the opposite wall of the entrance and there's clearance space for access. Double sided walk-in closet. For this design, storage units are placed on the op opposing walls as you enter the closet with a clear pathway down the middle, small to medium in size. Iceland walk-in closet. Basically, a double-sided walk-in closet with an island in the middle storage can be housed on all three walls or one side can be reserved as a dresser unit. They do require a lot of space and can be classed into luxurious product. Wrap around walk-in closet. This design maximizes storage space available with storage units placed on all three walls, medium to large in size. The designs mentioned are based on the placement of storage units Talking specifically about designs, walk-in closets can be broadly broken down into three categories small, square, long, narrow, and large. Once you have figured out your storage needs, your space constraints, and the functionality you want to extract from a walk-in closet, you can mix and match these styles to come up with the perfect closets for you. For example, if you have ample space but minimal storage needs, you can incorporate a dresser inside the walk-in to take care of hair and makeup. Any leftover space can be utilized for an island or even an ironing board. Determining the measurement for your walk-in closet is another thing that you have to keep in mind. A standard full-size walk-in closet for two people should measure a minimum of 7 by 10 feet. It should preferably have an area of 100 square fit as this allow you to have storage units on all three walls with even a seating area in the middle in case you want a smaller one small walk-ins can be built in as low as 25 square feet of space single sided being the smallest they are little more than a hybrid between a reaching closet and walk-in 
on average the growth set is about 4 to 5 feet deep and occupies about 24 inches of the total depth. This leaves about 36 inches as clearance. Double sided, the depth of the double sided walk in can be flexible, ranging from 4 to 6 feet. It is wider than a single sided growth set, incorporating 2 inches, 2 inches each side space on opposition walls with a 36 inch clearance in the middle. The total width comes out to be everyone from 6 to 7 feet. Iceland walk-ins. If you have an Iceland in the middle of your closets, chances are you are not worried about this space. But in case you have been trying to cram the Iceland into the design, make sure that there is a 3 feet clearance on all sides of the Iceland. Double roads are a common and efficiency focused element of a closet. They are typically placed 40 inches and 80 inches.